guys. So I thought I'd do something real different today. And I'm gonna show you the garden at my house. I have a bunch of gardens. This is the, oh look, my neighborhood cat just dropped in to say hi. He's a very friendly cat. I don't know his name, but he's a pretty cool cat. He just stops in to say hi, and he's got a friend that comes by sometimes too. He thinks I like cats. I'm not so sure about that, but I figured you'd like to see him. You never know what we're gonna, it's gonna happen when we do these videos, huh? I was actually thinking about showing my garden. There's some beautiful flowers growing around the stump. This is in the front side of my house. Charlotte really likes the cat. Some pretty flowers and a small cherry tree I planted a couple years back. This big tree we had cut down a while. Oh look, there's a bee on that flower. Can you see the bee? Oh, how cool is that? They drop by just to say hi, them bees. And the red tulip here. This is the front side of my house. There's a variety of plants. And I'll tell you what, follow me. We'll come over here. Maybe we can plant a bulb or something here in a minute. Some violas. Planted this big lilac tree this year. That's, we'll see how that does. They usually call them lilac bushes, but that one's a lilac tree. That's pretty big. Hyacinths blooming. Those come up from last year. I have also planted some more new ones this year. Looks like some irises. Not blooming yet, though. It's a big old shrub. Big old shrub there. Hmm? It's all good. Oh, and the cat's still with me. The cat's. Oh, no, he's moving on now, maybe. That's okay. Some more flowers there, more tulips. Oh, those are real pretty, and those are coming out in bloom. There's also a tarp and some firewood under it. I've been working on my wood pile. I'm almost done. It's coming. And these are called creeping flocks. They're quite pretty. I got those last year at Walmart. Pretty good deal on flowers there sometimes. There's some lilies. When I bought this house, these were here and I saved them. And there's a lot of stuff that's not growing just yet. That's gonna come up later. It doesn't all come up at one time. We get flowers throughout the year. And, and this is my rock path. I, I put this in, I like this. And over here, I have some bulbs. And let's do a couple iris bulbs. We can put a couple iris bulbs in. Let's see. And there are Dutch irises. They're going to be really pretty. But right now, they're just bulbs. Some of the bulbs, you can see a little bit of life on the ends. But you plant them facing up and then they'll grow in a little bit of time. Oh, here's one. Ooh, that one looks really good. And that's a little bit green, just, just a little bit, yellowish green. Well, maybe we'll plant that one today. And I, I remember I looked earlier, but I'm going to look again on here because it tells you how deep to plant them. Three inches, three inches deep. All right, let's come around here, huh? And over here, I have my two favorite garden holes. I have a cobra head and just a prong like that. They work pretty good for planting bulbs. Mm, let's see, I think I'll take this one today for planting bulbs. And I also already put water in my jug. It looks kind of dirty, but that's just rainwater, and that stuff's good for your garden. So then I kind of think, where would I like some iris bulbs to be? Mm, let's come on in. We can put them anywhere. The irises are beautiful. They just like full sun. So let's put a couple iris bulbs over here. Irises 
grow about a foot, this type of iris. And remember how deep we said they needed to be? Three inches. So I made a little hole, and I'll put it down in there. About, about three inches, and just put a little dirt around it. It's real easy to plant bulbs, and we just, we just planted a bulb. Just like that. If you don't have a tool like this, you could use a big screwdriver to poke a hole in the ground and move it around, and that would work. Maybe I'll plant five iris bulbs. That won't take too long, and it'll be fun. There's, I planted one, so now I need one more iris bulb. And there's two. And look who came to help us plant iris bulbs. I'll give it a little drink. Don't want to forget to water it. Ooh, cats don't like water, usually. Goodbye, cat. So there's two. Ooh. About three inches, maybe a little bit. A bit of water on that one. And we just did three bulbs. You could water them all after or do it this way. It's up to you. I don't have too much rhyme or reason to my garden. I put things where I like it and I let them grow. It's just fun that way. And there's four. And let's go with one more. And that will make five iris bulbs planted. And I'll plant the rest of them maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. And I have a lot of flowers growing in my garden. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll show you what my garden looks like today. Did they get to see the bench I made, Charlotte? We'll have to, let's go show them the bench. And I'll bring my water can so I can put it away. This is the bench I made last year. It's already, there's some flowers growing up around it. I planted some of them, but they call them Johnny Jump Ups or Violas, and they just pop up every year in different places. But this will be good to see my garden now, because we'll do another garden video, and I'll show you how it's going. These are called Frasers, and I planted these this year. They look like they could use some water, too. Maybe I'll give them some water while you're with me, just so I don't forget. They really could use a drink of water. This watering jug is really cool, too. It's a juice container, and I drilled holes in the top with a regular drill, and then I screw it right back on, and then I can squirt the water in my garden. Because one thing you need in your garden is lots of water for your plants to grow. All right. What do you think? Oh, what do you think, Charlotte? We'll show them the garden later, huh? All done for now. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining me in my garden.